there are plenty of people who think that they're so good, they don't need to listen to feedback. And those are the people who ultimately make huge mistakes. We had a coach at Google, his name was Bill Campbell. And three years ago, he died of cancer after a long illness. And what's interesting about Bill is he would only work with people who were coachable. So he would say, are you coachable? He doesn't want to waste his time. I actually met Bill during my interviews at Google, and Bill kind of saunters in, stares at me, and says, Rosenberg, I've asked around the valley about you. They say you're a smart guy. They say you work hard. Don't care. Just want to know, are you coachable? I was a senior vice president at Excite at Home. I didn't think I needed a coach. When I started at Google, I thought, I don't need a coach. Why would I need a coach? After all, I'm much better than everyone else. I'm really good. Look at all the things I've done. Typical kind of arrogant answer. And I shot back really quickly. Depends on the quality of the coach. He says, smart Alex are not coachable. And he walks out of the room. So I ran out, tried to get him to come back. He came back and he delivered me a lecture on humility. And I sat and listened to this lecture for quite a while. Now you might think that if you're a young executive, that the executives above you will be even more thoughtful and even more together and even more polished and so forth. But in fact, they're more nervous, they're more political, they're more anxious and so forth, the higher they are in life. And so a coach helps work on those rough edges, helps make a team from a, a set of individuals. Whenever there was a problem, or an interesting problem, he would say, let's get two people to work on it, not just one, because he would force them, one, to come to agreement, but also how to learn to work together. In every case that I can think of, his leadership meant that we resolve things amicably at a time when in previous companies, there would have been some kind of open internal warfare. Bill didn't actually expect all of us to like each other. He understood that there were different combinations of pairwise relationships between people that would be more effective. And each time we had task conflict, he would allow everyone to air their concerns. And then he would return to what he would call the immutable truths, the truths that we hold to be self-evident that are our goals of running the company. Bill understood that we spent so much time with each other at work. We actually need to embrace the whole person and we need to cheer for each other. We need to be generous with each other. We need, to constant, we, we need to constantly help each other. The key insight of a coach is they get you to believe that you can do something that you can't currently do today. And then in, when you screw up, they guide you to that excellence.